Good afternoon. Here we are again, twice in one day. But of course, two different projects going on. So if you're following the Tiny Tiles Advent, that's absolutely fine. That was done this morning. You can catch that up. But of course, tiles don't stop. So it's quite nice that um, it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't. Because we want to get to that 400, don't we? Which actually, we're on 397 now. So this time next week, 399. And then on the following Tuesday, it's number 400. So that's definitely a little cause for celebration. But for now, we're going to go in with uh, what we've got, which is for uh, 397. And I've got my nice little flamingo coloured uh, from the lights range. Uh, I thought we'd do that. It's a little bit of a warmer colour. Certainly being that the temperatures have dropped recently. So where are we going to go today? Where are we going to start with? I think first job is I'm going to come in and put some edges around. So I'm just going to use my uh, well-loved little uh, really, yeah. My red one actually is in my box somewhere. But we've, we've sort of packed things up a little bit ready. Actually, I'm going to come straight in with the pen. And let's put that in there. Might as well because it's going to stay. And nothing's going to wander out the edges there. So. I know, Rose, where's the time gone? It's so many things to do. But no, it's all right. It's nice to come in, isn't it? I have just a little bit of time relaxing and chilling out with what we're doing here. Okay. So I'm going to come in and do a second row in there. So I don't want it to be too, um, too big. Actually, I'm going to go straight across because that worked just as well. Okay. And then again. I notice that I'm always using the uh, edge of my ruler there just to give me a, a straight edge if I can help it. And the next one. Into there. And along there. And then back into this next one and into that one. So I've got kind of a row thing going around. Okay. All right. So let's um, split this in half. And then this one I could probably do half again and half again. Now, if you really want to, you can use a straight edge for that. But I'm quite happy to go in with the, making it just a little bit wonky. That's fine. And to this one. And so we've got that. Turn it around. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Joe. I'll have a look in a little bit. I've been running around a little bit today. I've got lots of things going on. So I perhaps haven't, I've not always been with my phone, if you know what I mean. I know if you're looking for your parcel, I know that uh, Sarah sent it yesterday, I think. She has a system. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go with that. So what I want to do now, I want to come in and let's have a look. I'm going to put myself some little marks in here. So let's have a look. I want sort of four across the top. So just little marks to get me going. There's two, there's three. And there's four. So this sort of even. And then I want to do the same going down. So let's have a look. I've got one, two, three, four. And then I can make a little bit of a set of dots. They don't have to be exact. Sometimes it's nice to have it a little bit odd as well. So there we go. Four little dots. So let's... Uh, Go in a little bit, and what I want to do now is in each one of these dots, I'm going to bring in, turn it into a little square shape. Let's fill that in. So you see the dots up in the middle, and then there's that square shape. And again, just sort of there. In we go. I see that one. I think that's a little bit far out, so I'm going to bring that one in. I can do that at the minute because that was only in pencil. See, that looks a little bit more even in a sense. So you now have a look at yours, and if you think that you need to, you can move it round a bit. 
So see this one I'm going to bring up a little bit as well. And it's sort of, sort of in line. And then here's go into these. But again, I say if you want to try this a little bit later and do it with these little squares, sort of a more random design, it'll give you something similar but different, if you know what I mean. So it's always worth trying something new, isn't it? Okay, so there we are. Okay, so let's start, doesn't really matter where, so I'm going to start over here and where I've got these two little squares, I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw a line joining the two together on the left hand side. You see, on the left hand side, let's go in a little bit more, you see? So then the next one, I'm going to bring it on the right hand side. Then the next one on the left. And the next one on the right. Okay, let's have a little look at that. Okay, so if I now turn it this way, so they're still on the right hand side. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in on this right hand side and join those two together. And then I'm going to come into the left. And then the right. And then on this side, mirror image. So this is going to go left, then right, then left. Okay, so whilst we're here on this row, let's look at these next sets. So this bit was on the left. So here I'm going to go on the right, on the left, on the right. And I might do the same here as well. Look, so that was on the right. So this one I'm going to do left, right, left. So you see each time, look, it's a mirror image of the other. So if I turn it back, so okay, this one, look, it was on the left. And then I'm going to come there and then there, you see, each time. So this one was on the inside, look, on the right. So if I do left, then right. And then this one, look, on the inside, right, then left. And this one we've done right, left, right. So we've got that kind of thing. Okay. So first things first then, I want to take, doesn't matter which one, I'm going to go with uh, these sort of horizontal ones here. And I'm going to put myself um, a diagonal line across See there, look, I can do that one and I can go across that one as well. And that one. And that one. Okay. It covers those two. And then these two. Same sort of thing. Again, if you want to use a straight edge for this, you can. But again, I'm, I'm going to go with slight free hand there. So I've got those. So, based on those shapes now, I'm going to come this way. Now, I always like to draw my, my other line to make a little grid and have this line as a horizontal. So, when I draw the first vertical in, so to speak, I know it's going to give me a kind of square design. Oh, yeah, I see, you've got little squares going on there. And same with this one. So follow it round, so we've got a little grid going on, okay, so into that one and that one, so we've got that, okay, oh Rose, I think you should just use it, just use it, it's winter now, I don't know if it's going to help you with those cold days, isn't it, just sort of sitting reminiscing and Drawing a few things. So you can put little stitches down the side. And along here. 
So, of course, stands to reason I'm going to do the same on here. Okay, I'll turn it round and do it on this one. Okay, and there. Oh, Sue, so absolutely, yes. I do hope he's uh, going to get back to you know, back to his normal self soon. Poor Dean. It's awful, isn't it? And, poor, and of course, with Sarah as well. Sarah Payne, hope she's doing okay. Bless her. What's going on at the minute, isn't there? Okay, let's have a look at these shapes here now. I'm going to come in with a diagonal. So I've started diagonally. Do another one, but this time I'm going to put some little loops in. See a little line and dots? Like that. And then another little, little loop. Line and dots. Yeah. Oh, Viv, he got knocked over by a car in London. He's uh, He's got quite a few injuries. He's uh, in hospital at the minute. He's alive and kicking. Bless him, but he's, he's had a bit of a tough time by the looks of it. A few broken bones. We do, we do love Dean. All right, you see him creating these little loops? And then uh, I'm going to that one. So I've, I've sort of got four. I'm keeping it similar across the way. And then uh, along and you see into there. So I've used the same angle each time, but you don't have to. Again, you can do what works for you. If you like the idea of all those grids, you can continue with them. So you've got this continuing thing going on. So let's do something similar in these as well. And then this one. Okay. And it all sort of uh, works in together then. And then this one. I mean, you might find you, you're getting more loops in than me. Well, not as many. It doesn't matter. It's just nice to have a little bit of a, a difference there. Okay, that's where we are so far. So, I'm just sort of coming around these shapes. I'm going to go in a little bit. And uh, I'm going to sort of bring a little shape around there. And along and into there. And... Again, I'm going to sort of repeat that on each one. And into this one. This does it, uh, works its way around. Yeah. Following it along. There we go. Each one there. to this one so we're doing the same on each one here and you can do a completely different pattern on every one if you like it really doesn't matter in that sense and we're going to put some little bubbles around it so all different kind of sizes just to uh, change it up a little bit so don't think you've got to put loads in that's it I know it's tricky being random sometimes. We want this pattern forming, but it doesn't always work that way, does it? And there we go with those. Okay, don't forget the middle one. And in some of those in. Okay. So next little thing, I think I'm just going to rub out that pencil line that I put in. You know, around there, I don't need it anymore. But I decided I was going to go straight in with the pen. And of course, there's a few little dots there. Get rid of those. So we've got this little sort of motif in the middle. Okay, and these squares around the outside. So what I want to do is have a look around this space here. And I'm going to put myself some little squares in. Now, you see that first one at a bit of an angle. And then... One slightly underneath it. And then there. 
Get a sort of, you know, like we would normally put bubbles around things. I'm going to see how it looks having some sort of squares in there. See how it kind of works its way around. You want some that are going under and some that are you know, coming out from it. They don't all have to be the same size. Let's sort of work around. And there. Again, you know, space them out if you feel you need to. I might put three together here. Just let's have a look at that. To make it a little bit different. And around we go. Having these little squares in. Well, I said squares then. <laughs> they are uh, not quite, are they? But that doesn't matter. It really doesn't. And along we go. See, just sort of working my way around. And adding these little squares in. Again, try and keep them a little bit different if you can. We don't want them all the same all the way around. Alright, one more there, look. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit bigger with these. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some little kind of stitches around the edges. You see like little patches? That's it. And I'm not going to do two on every side. See that one's a bit smaller so one will do on each side of that one. And you'll notice as well that I've not done every single one. See that one look it's a little bit more rectangular so I can put two in there look and one in there. And uh, same sort of thing there look two in that one and along that and one in there so let's have a little look at this you see I've not done it in every single one I've just uh, picked a couple and I've gone with that and one there perhaps that one there look so we've got a few going on along there okay so what about squares around the outside? We've got sort of a little bit of a pattern forming here, haven't we? We've got little different squares going on. So I think being that we did this kind of a grid here, I'm going to do the same here and put a little cross in. Okay. So if you do that to each one, so I'm going to start by going all the way around with one line going one way first. And then I can come back and do the others. Now, of course, if you want to, you can do each one separately. It's, it's something about that re repetition that really makes a difference here. And because we're doing the same thing in each of those spaces, it doesn't matter. And then back to this one. You see how that just flows because I'm so used to drawing that line now. It's become more natural. And then along on this one. And uh, again, follow the lines. I know not all of them are the same shape. Some are a little bit wider than others, but that's absolutely fine. And along we go. that row and then this bit here so around this one putting a cross in every box and then this way now there's certain ways this is a very simple little pattern but you can change it up and change the style of it if you want to depending on how you sort of work um, yeah, a little bit rose, I suppose. And it's a little bit like, it's almost like a blanket, isn't it? So it's a little bit of warm comfort. So you see where we've got this sort of diamond shape? So we've got our crosses in each box and it's created this little diamond shape in the middle. 
So here, I can actually fill in that little diamond shape with lines. Do you see where that line is in the middle there? Well, I say in the middle, loosely. We can fill in each side and it'll create a little bit of a different design going on there. So again, a little bit repetitive, but that's not a bad thing. We can uh, fill them in as we go. So into these uh, shapes we go. So I'm starting on one side, working my way back down. Just doing the same thing in each one. Same with this one. So now when I get to the end, see I've done all that row, I'll turn it round and then I've got another diamond here, so okay, it's joining on with this one but the lines are going to go that way and then to that one, same here, same there and they're going to kind of continually work my way round. And into that one. So doing the same thing. And you'll notice this will give you a slightly as a different type of pattern around that edge. We've not actually done a pattern around the edge for ages. So who knows? Maybe we'll do a couple more. Let's see where that goes. And then this one. Okay. And then again, into this one, so that way now, and then fill in the next section, and same with this one, filling in those sections as we go, along, and along, and just sort of keep it going. It's kind of nice actually to draw lines. Lines and swirls, I think, is one of the, the most common things that we all draw, whether we're drawing it on purpose or not. It's the kind of thing. I mean, we don't particularly doodle on a notebook anymore when we're on the phone, do we? Because phones are different now. We, they're not in one place, so we're, we usually... Um, sort of uh, doing other things now when we're on the phone aren't we anyway so we don't really doodle when we're waiting anymore we, we've we got it on loudspeaker haven't we and we're doing something else or checking our emails or following a <laughs> sandtangle tile yeah okay almost there with this sort of uh, coming in with this it's quite a sweet little one this isn't it even if you you've not drawn your lines to the nth degree measured then it still looks really nice oh chris yeah absolutely okay there we go so we could actually have extended this and, and filled the whole thing with it but it's nice to have look, a little gesture isn't it there just a little bit so I'm going to come in with a little bit of coloured pencil and I'm going to use um, my pinks with this one. I say that, I'm just going to go and fetch my pencil shop. Yeah. So, I'm just to have a slightly sharper pencil. That's a sharper pencil, me. My sharp pencil just came out. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, all right so what i'm going to do with this one is i'm not going to blend com completely or or try and mix too close oh do you know this one's not so good either i don't know what i've done to it i'm just going to add a little bit of color in there that's kind of bring in a little bit there so i'm not gonna I say i'm not gonna blend or anything i'm gonna bring loads of pencils in i just want to bring a little bit of a feature in there okay 
every other square, look. Well, I'll say square loosely. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Nadia. It's just nice to do something a bit different, isn't it? I know sometimes we, we'll use the same patterns, but that's almost like we're learning how to use them and we see them in different ways. So it's it's been nice to be able to continue to do this. We've been doing this for a long time now, so it's sort of part of what we do, isn't it? So, and it's amazing when you look back at the ones you have done and you think, goodness me, look at these. Now, if you've, um, if you haven't got all the books and I've got a really nice offer on on Monday for a bundle of four, five, six and seven together. So um, that covers quite a few tiles in there, doesn't it? And there's quite a few things going on there in terms of how we've evolved. So I've tried to sort of think which ones would be the best ones to do. Um, sort of, uh, it's, it's always it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Trying to work out. I don't want to take on a show, but I thought they'd be quite nice ones to look at. And uh, a few little bits and pieces coming in there as well. There you go. So we've got a little bit of colour in there. It makes a difference, doesn't it? So that's, that's how I look. bring in uh, my claret a little bit darker this time. And I'm going to add a little bit just sort of to the bottom edge of these loops. Okay, it's to the bottom edge. I want this bit to stand out more than anything else. So bringing a little bit of colour in here is the reason for that, because that means this is going to stand out. Okay, and it's not going to hurt putting a few of those in colour as well. So it's sort of dotted around the place. Let's bring that pink back in. Add a little bit of, I'm not going to do three of this one, I'm only going to do two. I'm going to bring my white in and I am going to blend that little bit in, you know, with that darker red there. There you go. Again, I want it to stand out here, so bringing that white in is going to make the difference. See? it in and then this one just works well doesn't it so that now I'm not going to use the white around the edge on those squares because otherwise they're going to stand out a little bit too much and I don't really want that to happen I just want that little bit to be in there like so yeah but I can bring in a little bit of colour there it is Vicky, well spotted, it is the flamingo. It's a really nice colour, I thought it's quite nice and warm, isn't it? Certainly for this weather at the minute, just bringing in a little bit of warmth. So I'm picking just a couple of colours and adding a few little colours. I'm not going to do all of them, just a few is quite nice. And then let's come in with my regular pencil now. Maybe again, that should be a little bit sharper. Oh, I've not done before. Do you know, I always miss one. What's, what is the matter with me? It's because I did four of the other, didn't I? I counted four in my head. <laughs> there you are. And there we go. Okay, see, we're merging the two together. I might just bring that red back in, actually. And just go back in on it. There you go, that's better. Okay. See, just bringing it in and into that. Okay, so back to pencil. Okay, and what I'm going to do first of all, let's go in a little bit so you can see it, is I want to have some pencil either side of these here. Either side. All right, so I'm not being too shy with that. And the same here. 
in there. See, so either side, same there, and the same there. So if you've got a bit of colour pencil in there, it's going straight over the top, that's fine. And I'm going to bring my torch on in at this point. I've not quite finished shading yet, but I want to do this bit first. Okay, and I'm going to come in, sort of soften off those edges. So I know they're quite dark, but that's what I wanted. We, we really need that depth in here so that it, it looks more three-dimensional. You see, I'm actually going over the coloured pencil there. That's absolutely fine. So I want it to look like this uh, shadow over the top of it. All right, it's going to have to come in with a bit of a swirl there. Same on that one. Into there. And then this one. Okay. And there. And that one. All right, let's have a little look at this, see where we're at. Okay. So that's that. So I'm going to come back in with my black pen now, and I'm going to put those lines back in that we originally drew along those shapes because it's so easy to lose them. We want to make sure that we've still got them in there. Okay. Into that. So there. Now I know it's, it's shining a little bit, but you can see that it is actually, and it's just the, the nature of the pencil sometimes and the lighting but we want to make sure that that is pretty dark there so we've got that degree of uh, shading going on okay that's that sorted and then I'm gonna bring my pencil back in and I'm gonna add some to either side of that line and then also to the inside of that line there. Okay, let's go a bit closer. You see? And then this one down there. See, so I'm doing it on both sides of that line and then on the inside of that one as well. And the next one. So same thing all the way around. And around last oh, last one and there. it's my little heater telling me it's not up to the right temperature in here we're all having a little bit of a cold day aren't we it's very slippy this morning coming into the office as well so everybody stay safe out there and this is it going to get colder tomorrow so we're going to try and stay away from the office tomorrow, maybe, and, and work from home. Okay. So, as we wander around there. This one. No, we have no brew today. I don't know where John is. Sarah's busy. Tommy's busy. And Leslie doesn't come in on Friday, so that's how we can determine what day it is. But no, no brew today. No. I'm going to get my own. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> get my own. It's not that I don't. It's just sometimes I think you get so involved in what you're doing. You actually forget to get up and make yourself a drink. That's it. Yep. Yeah. One of those things. Hold on that. And along we go. This one. Down there. Oh, do you know we were just talking about this, Tommy? And uh, did I not have a brew today? Tommy's saved the day. Thank you, Tommy. I wouldn't say saved the day. Well, you are. If you brought me a cup of tea, that's. A... <laughs> Unless it's followed with Sandra broke something, but no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 
Mummy's made me a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, I know Wendy. It's like, where's he been? <laughs> We are keeping them all very busy at the minute. It's, uh, it's all hands on deck. So. Yeah. Okay, let's have a little look at this. <laughs> oh, hi, Mum. Okay, I think we do need, because we put this white in here and we've got this border, we do need to do the white there as well. And usually it would be a chalk pencil. But being that I've put a lot of graphite on it and I have actually got my white pencil out, it's probably best if on this occasion I use a white pencil. I try not to be too sketchy with this. Try if you can to keep the line straight and don't wander off too much. See and then I'm going to come in with my black pencil. Okay, go up and get it out of the packet. And I am going to come back in with my straight edge here because what I want to do is just come in a little bit. Here we go. You see this line here? I'm going to line my pencil up with that edge. And I'm going to put in that line there. You see that one there? Ah, let's do the same there, look. Okay, so make sure your pencil's sharp enough. You know, you don't want it to be um, too blunt for this because you want a nice sort of crisp line. Same with this one. And then while I'm at it, I'm also going to do this edge. But to do it like this, you might find as you, you might slip off. So I'm going to come this side up, line it up. Good, because you want it to be on that edge. You see? Draw that line in. Okay. Do the same here. Put that line in. And then this one. Oh. Along there. Maybe she did, Rose. Maybe she did. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think just to sort of, you know, be sure again, let's just put these in. Just on the inside now, I'm not going to do the outer edge. I'm just going to do anything on the inside. Okay. Same this way. And this way. Okay, let's have a little look at this. Okay, that's much better. Just going to ease that off a little bit. So it's got a little bit of darkness on each side like this. Okay. It's all about those lights and darks of this. Get the pencil. Just to work it in. See that black pencil's just taking off that little bit of a shine. But it still needs a little bit of help working its way in. To work. I'm going to give it a little bit of, and there we go, okay. All right, so there it is, a little mini quilt, especially for you on this really cold, miserable day. Now, last thing to do, <laughs> a little bit of a signature, yeah. And you know what, you can keep going in with this as, as much or as little as you like. It depends on how three-dimensional you want it to be. You can do that kind of thing and it, it just grows. You could have gone the whole tile if you wanted to with that little shape as well. But you have got that slightly sort of three-dimensional feel. You see, that's better when you've not got the sheen on it from the lights. So, okay, have a bit of fun with this. You change your patterns around. You don't have to do the same as I did. And you see how it sort of works its way under. So have a, have a, have a play with it. And, of course, if you're around tomorrow at some point, then we're doing our advent tile number two. Could this be number two? Um, so I might see you for that. If not, I'll catch you, um, I don't know, gosh, busy week next week. Monday on Hobby Maker or Tuesday back for tile 398. So have a lovely weekend, everybody. Stay warm, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.